Going to the doctor, like so many other things, can be an expense. Sometimes you open up a bill to an amount you weren't expecting. That is exactly what happened to one Franklin woman. She claimed she was billed for a procedure, even though she was told her copay and insurance would cover it. She reached out to our call for action problem solver for help. Carice, this has happened to so many of us. So many people, Tracy. Now, Deborah Lejeune says she needs to get multiple back injections for her pain. She claims not once, but twice she was given information that wasn't right, and now she has a a large bill on her table. A simple task of sweeping the floor causes pain in Deborah Lejeune's back. I can't sweep her mop. And I still hadn't finished my injections. Injections she says she usually gets from Vanderbilt Pain Center. I've gone to Vanderbilt Pain and um, Management and I've had the shots before and they've just taken the copay. But she claims she ran into problems not long after that. Well, I was ready to get shots again and they gave me an option. I could go to the pain management or I could go over to uh, Vanderbilt Bone and Joint. With Vanderbilt Bone and Joint being so close to her Franklin home, Lejeune chose a second option. Lejeune says she was told by officials her copay and insurance would take care of it all. So I went in and got the first half of it done and the next day I got a bill for $325. Not wanting a surprise bill again when it came to getting the next set of back injections, Lejeune double checked, asking officials if she would get billed. And I asked all the questions and um, the next day I got another bill for $325. So that's $650 that I owed. What was your reaction when you got that? I was mad. <laughs> it's like this sitting right, them telling me that I wouldn't be charged all of this, and then all of a sudden they charged me for it. Mm. Now, we did get a response from Vanderbilt this afternoon. They tell me they reviewed the patient's history, and without violating any HIPAA laws, they offered this. They say, quote, as of June 2019, the Vanderbilt Health at 100 Oaks facility became a hospital-based clinic facility. As a result, the fee structure for charges for supplies associated with some services have changed. Patients were notified of this change via letter and in advance of the change, and there was subsequent media coverage about the clinic's change to a hospital face base facility. They say and added that if patients would like an estimate on their bill, they can call this number that you see right now on your screen, 615-936-6639. They also gave us a number to help Mrs. Lejeune, and we pass that information along to her as well.